Good, happy Friday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Manchester woman accused of stabbing 16-month-old daughter. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Joshua Hyundai is the better choice this President's Day. See why. Lease the 2017 Elantra SE with a better price of $99 a month, better selection, better savings, and better service. The Thompson Auto Group. The affidavit written by the responding officer in this case shows some truly disturbing details. They write the mother accused of stabbing her little daughter was sometimes laughing and even chuckling during questioning. They say she admitted to having mental health issues during their questioning. It's just appalling to me. Shock and sadness in this Candia Road neighborhood tonight after a 16-month-old girl was stabbed, allegedly at the hands of her own mother, Avance Gina Adi. Upon arrival, they spoke to a despondent woman and her husband and noticed the 16-month-old was bleeding from the back. Uh, basically, paramedics and Manchester firefighters arrived on scene. The child had been stabbed by the mother. The mother told officers she woke up in the middle of the night, took her husband's utility knife, and went to her daughter's crib, where she told officers she saw a shadow around her child's sleeping body. She told police, quote, that's when I used it against on my daughter. Adi's husband called police after she woke him up and said she had cut their daughter. Adi looked distraught as she appeared via video feed in court this morning. According to police records, Adi was prescribed new medications this month for a mental health disease. Neighbors just hoping for the best for everyone involved. Poor thing, both the baby and the, the parent, to, to do something like that. So hopefully my thoughts and prayers are with both of them. And now the mother in this case even had injuries of her own, several cuts to her wrist that she admitted to responding officers she had inflicted on herself earlier in the day. She's currently being held without bail. She's due back in court Friday morning. In Manchester, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Snowmobiler critically injured in Belmont. A snowmobiler is critically in critical condition after crashing his sled in Belmont. On Wednesday at about 10.30 p.m., Belmont police and fire were dispatched to a snowmobile accident near South Road. Involved in the accident were two snowmobilers operated by Nate Pexel, 30, 34 of Belmont, and Jack McLaughlin, 34 of Laconia. Pexel was traveling down the trail, missed a corner, ran into a metal gate, and was thrown from the snowmobile, snowmobile. The second snowmobile ran over Paxel and crashed into the first snowmobile. Both Prax and McLaughlin were wearing helmets. Prax was transported to Lakes Region General Hospital and immediately to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center with life-threatening injuries. He was in critical condition as of Thursday. Investigators determined that speed and reduced visibility due to snow were major contributing factors of the accident. Attorney charged with, with witness tampering. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Better choice this President's Day. See why. Lease the 2017 Elantra SE with a better price of $99 a month, better selection, better savings, and better service. The Thompson Auto Group.
part-time Seacoast lawyer has been arrested. 57-year-old Ragnar Huffman, also known as Ron Huffman, arraigned on several felonies involving actions and advice he allegedly gave a former client seen with him here to undermine court orders. Authorities say Huffman encouraged his client to stay in contact with the alleged victim in a domestic violence case to calm her down and get her to drop charges, and that Huffman himself encouraged the woman to recant her story and more. That he also uh, told the victim that if she failed to appear for a DVO uh, hearing, that he would not challenge child custody. This is not the first time Huffman has found himself on the other side of the law. He was arrested in Maine in 2012 while practicing law as Ronald Huffman. Of the charges he faced in Maine were two of them that he was accused of terrorizing, in other words, calling in bomb threats to two schools? Yes. According to court documents, he pleaded guilty, later resigned from the main bar, changed his name to Ragnar Huffman, including on his New Hampshire bar license. In terms of the current case, the New Hampshire Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence is speaking out, saying domestic violence offenders who violate court orders often pose a significant danger to the victim. It is critical that law enforcement and courts take violations of restraining orders very seriously. Okay, and there you go on that report. Watch what to watch in Friday's markets before chilling over the long weekend. Even after Thursday's Market Mellis stocks roll into Friday with some of their best weekly gains of the year. Trump press conference fact check what the president got wrong and right. President Donald Trump held a press conference at the White House Thursday to announce his new pick for Labor Secretary, Alexander Assault. But once he began taking questions from reporters, the focus shifted away from Assault to a slew of other topics. Allegations of his campaign's contract with contact with Russia's Russians, General Flynn's resignation, anti-Semitists in the U.S., and a popular go-to topic for the president, his disdain for the mainstream media. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.